Hey everyone, and welcome back to Trainer Mark, the channel where we open Pokemon cards together. My name is Mark, and I'm back with a super special opening for you guys today. We're going to be checking out the new set Shiny Star V, which just came out in Japan last Friday. And thanks to fast shipping, we have a brand new sealed booster box all ready to go. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy your stay here with us. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, Trainer Mark, for more Pokemon TCG content. We're almost at 300 subs, so I cannot wait for that milestone. So thank you ahead of time for your continued support. Without further ado, let's jump into our Shiny Star V booster box. And I simply cannot wait to see what awesome cards lie within. So as you can see on the booster box art, this set features a ton of shiny Pokemon, including the highly sought after, of course, shiny Charizard. The set does have the shiny Charizard V that we just saw in Champion's Path, but also a shiny Charizard V Max, which is really exciting and brand new, never before seen. And I'm just loving the artwork on this booster box already. It's super exciting. And there are just simply a ton of shiny Pokemon to collect in this set. And this is also the biggest set of all time, I believe, with 330 cards total in the set, which is just huge, bigger than any language set that has come before it. So simply an amazing premium set that Japan has put together. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. So here we go. Uh, there are 10 packs per box, I believe, and 10 cards per pack, which follows a slightly different format compared to your typical Japanese booster box. I think their booster boxes usually have like 30 packs with only five cards per pack, but this one is a premium set, so it's a little bit different. And if you've seen these Japanese booster boxes before, you'll, you'll know that there are um, cards here in the front so that uh, the store owners can tear this off and kind of put it outside so that people don't steal booster packs. You can just bring this to the front of the store and uh, show them the card showing that you're interested in purchasing a pack and then they'll grab that from the back. So there is the stack of packs. Let's take them out right here. They are looking amazing right now. Each pack is uh, guaranteed a Pokemon V or higher, which is making this opening even more exciting, uh, which is very fitting for the premium pack format. And as you can see, the booster packs feature the same artwork as the booster box. So why don't we just get started with the right side here, our very first pack of Shiny Star V. And I think we'll get a set that's similar to this in the US uh, come February, if I'm not mistaken. But you can kind of take that in. There's the back of the pack. Nothing too much going on there. I'm sure there's a ton of secret rares and amazing full arts. I'm like almost shaking at my at the excitement of just opening the set to finally have it in hand. And it's you know selling out super fast, if not already. So it was hard to kind of get my hands on a box for you guys. But here we are. And it looks like, starting us off, this is different. We have some sort of a code card for Pokemon Sword and Shield, possibly unlocking these uh, these Pokemon here. You see Genesect, uh, Marshadow. Um, so that's kind of cool. So I don't know if anybody in Japan is watching this, but if you want to take this code card for these Pokemon, please feel free. So let's take that out of the way for now. That's very interesting. And oh, the back features a brand new Pokemon from the expansion pass, which I have not purchased yet. But why don't we get started with our pack here? And please be forgiving um, about my naming of the Pokemon. I don't remember all of them, unfortunately, so I rely a lot on the English, but there is no English. So uh, let's just keep going. All right, I do know Rotom right here. Very cool. Choodle. Remember, each booster pack features a Pokemon V or higher guaranteed. So that's just super cool. This is a trainer card featuring Zacian, and it looks like it's the broken sword from uh, Sword and Shield. We have a Haunter. And this is a Greedent, I believe. Also Sword and Shield. 
Let's keep on going. All right, we got a foil card here. Galarian Berserker. This is a holographic. And in Japan, the Pokemon Hollow, uh, the Pokemon card Hollow Rares have a shiny silver border as well, which is pretty cool. And is that our rare? I think we have a V card, right? Oh, here we go. Oh no, we don't. We have multiple hollow cards per pack, which is amazing. That's unexpected. So here we have an Orin Guru, I believe. Another holographic rare. Okay, maybe there's more. Oh, we have something. Nice, we got a full art shiny ditto v guys i hope this is not our best pull for the entire box because we just started but what an amazing card we have not seen this yet in english we have a shiny ditto v i believe this is the full art version this might be the only version in the set i'm not sure there is a ditto v max i believe that is also shiny but we have a full art shiny ditto v and i love ditto especially since uh, Ditto's from Gen 1. And the shiny form features a nice light blue. And as you can see, this is a full art. So it has that texture and that really awesome reflective foil pattern. So what a nice looking card. Shiny Ditto V, guys. There you have it. And this is an SSR uh, rarity designation there in the lower left-hand corner. So... I'm sure this is not your run-of-the-mill card. This is probably somewhat rare, which is really cool. And like I said, I hope this is not our best pull for today's Shiny Star V box opening, but it may be because usually these only come with like one per box, but super happy with this one. There you have it, Shiny Ditto V. Very nice. So that's kind of interesting because the pack... Oh, whoa, this is a reverse hollow. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it has kind of a really glossy, uh, reflective treatment on the card and a slight hollow foil pattern, as you can see right there, throughout the whole card. So that's really awesome. So there are reverse hollows as well in each pack, and it features a new pattern that we haven't seen yet in the US. So very cool and super nice. I wonder which cards can be reversed, but all right, anyway, let's move on to our next pack here. We have a lot to open up, but that was an exciting first pack for sure. Um, remember, there are 330 cards to collect in this set, so hopefully we can open up some more boxes uh, because one box is just not going to cut it. Oh, here we have the code again, if you're interested. I'm probably just going to skip that from now on. It looks like it's pretty much the same every time. Let's move on to our... Second pack, that's Applin, I believe. Yamper. There's Chairman Rose. I believe there's a full art version of him in this set. And as we saw from our first pack, each pack comes with multiple holo- Oh my gosh, we just pulled a shiny card. We have a shiny, I believe, is this Aracuda? Beriscuda, it's the evolution. Shiny Beriscuda, I hope I'm not getting that wrong, but look at that. This reminds me of the ones from Hidden Fates that fit in the reverse hollow slot. It's not like a full art or anything, but they're still um, a little bit more rare than your typical, typical cards in the set, excuse me. Um, this has an S rarity on the lower left. I don't know if you can see that, so that probably designates shiny. But how cool is that? You have the stars, that are characteristic of shiny Pokemon. And you have a texture on the art and on the foil there, which makes this a really deluxe looking card. Very, very nice. This set is simply incredible. So many great cards to collect here. But let's move on. That's a really nice pull. We have a Marnie, a regular foil rare. We've seen this card a lot in English, but we have a Marnie here. It looks like a reprint but still very nice. So once again, multiple foils here per pack, and it looks like the shiny pulls can be uh, the first card uh, in the foil kind of cascade, if you will, that begins midway through the pack. Let's move on here. 
Oh my gosh, you pulled an amazing rare. This is a single pack, guys. This is simply amazing. I am in awe. <laughs> what is going on right now? In complete awe. But we have an amazing rare Reshiram, which we have not seen in the US either. And these amazing rares come with te texture, as you sorry, I just heard something. Texture, as you can see right here, and a glitter hollow foil pattern that you see in the secret rares. Um, in our Sword and Shield era sets, but wow, we just need to take a second to appreciate the beauty of this amazing rare Reshiram, but also the fact that we pulled it in the same pack as our shiny Beresciuta that we saw earlier. So wow, that is a beautiful card. And I think we're still guaranteed a V, if I remember correctly, so I guess let's move on. There could be more here. And it's hard to move on from an amazing rare. That's usually the best card in the pack. So let's see what comes up next. We have a Zama Zenta V. So there is still a V in the pack. And that looks amazing. Sh uh, not shiny, but a uh, Zama Zenta V regular art. How awesome is that? I don't know how you can get a cooler pack than the one that we just saw. Maybe some of these will beat it, but I highly doubt it because that was just amazing and here is our final card for our second pack which is a reverse hollow and as you can see it's glossy again and there's kind of a diamond rainbow hollow pattern there you can see very faintly very high quality card and i've always enjoyed the quality of japanese releases because the paper and the coating just seems a lot nicer than our u.s counterparts i cannot believe the quality of a single pack in this set. It's so impressive. And the fact that you can pull a shiny Pokemon and a V and a, a, uh, an amazing rare in one pack is just, I'm speechless. Anyways, let's move along here. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I'm just so impressed. We have a Clavopus. That's Snom, right? Or something like that. Squavet. This is Hop's House. We've seen this already in our English release. This is an AG slash, I believe. Yes. All right, we're making it to our foils again. We have, oh, not quite. This is Metal Saucer, I think. Now we're getting to our foils. All right, our first foil is a Frozmoth, Hollow Rare. Very nice. And then we have, oh, this is um the Applin Evolution. I forget the name of this one, but this is another hollow rare. So I assume that means no uh, regular shiny Pokemon in this pack. And we might be moving on to our V now. I'm, let's just go. We got a Crobat V, very cool. We've already seen this card in English. We got a Crobat V regular art, super nice. And I think we have another thing. No, that's it. Okay, no, that's it. We're ending with the Crobat V. So it looks like three hollows per pack and then one reverse hollow per pack. We have a, um, slipping my mind right now, but this is reverse hollow, as you can see again, nice and glossy, very high quality. All right, let's move on to our next pack here. Still have a lot to go. That Lapras on the front is a card that I definitely want to pull, that shiny Lapras. All right, so there's that code card again, if you're interested. Let's begin. Darumaka. Ariados, wow. That's kind of cool. Jim, all right, I think we're moving into our hollows now. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> We pulled another shiny, uh, regular shiny Pokemon here. It has the texture and the foil, as you can see there. This is the Dragolage or something? Uh, ah, I, I don't remember uh, the name exactly, but um, very nice pull. This is a stage one evolution, and there is a shiny version. Look at that coloration. Loving it. This is S Rarity, so it's a regular shiny Pokemon, but still, I'm sure, a little bit rarer than some of the others so let's move it along but that is a really nice card 
We have a Toxtricity Hollow Rare. That's a Wooloo, I just remembered. That was a Wooloo Reverse Hollow that we just saw. <laughs> that was really bugging me. All right, let's move on here. We got a Zamazenta Hollow Rare. Really nice. All right, are you guys ready for the V slot? We're gonna get, oh my gosh, we got a uh, Rillaboom V Max. I didn't know that they had the regular Rillaboom V Max here. I thought this was from an earlier set. I don't believe this is a shiny version of Rillaboom. This is a triple R rarity card. Maybe this is a reprint, but we have a Rillaboom V Max, which does have texture, looks a lot like a full art. Super nice pull, guys. And we have Hop's house in a reverse hollow. Wow. And there's still like six more packs. Okay. Let's keep it going. I hope you guys are enjoying this opening so far. Please hit that like button if you are, especially for the shiny Pokemon that we've seen so far from Shiny Star V. And there are definitely more shiny Pokemon to come. Let's keep moving here. De Den, Spinarak. Oh, Galarian Rapidash. We've seen this card before, I believe. Scoop up net, I assume. Ooh, this is um, the Galarian evolution of um, Yamask. All right, we're moving into premium foil territory now. Let's see what we get here. We got a Clefable. Hollow Rare. And then we got the other evolution of Afflin. Um, the one that looks like an apple pie from Gen 8. Also Hollow Rare, very nice. And our V slot is a Ditto V, regular art. This is also a new card that we haven't seen yet in the US. Super nice. This is the regular version of Ditto, so not the shiny version. Really cool artwork, Ditto doing a punch. In case you ever wonder what it looks like with Ditto um, actually doing an attack, I guess it's something like that. Very nice card, Ditto, regular art, and our reverse hollow is a Trubbish. Reverse hollow. Very nice. I feel like we're gonna get our minds blown by this pack. So uh, let's get to it. So yeah, this is one of the best sets ever, clearly. Especially if you're into shiny Pokemon, which at this point pretty much everybody is. And um, these packs are just literally packed with tons of cool stuff. And just pulling like multiple super rares in one pack is just amazing. Coughing. Red Balloon. Evolution of Sobble, colorless. I think we're moving into foil territory now. We got, oh, I thought we'd get a shiny. We got a Heatran, hollow rare, very nice. So it looks like the regular um, S marked shiny Pokemon show up in the first slot. Ooh, Copperaja, hollow rare. And our V slot has a Scorch V regular art. Very nice. And our reverse hollow is Minchino, Chinchino. I think it's one of those. Cool. All right, let's move on to our next pack. We have three more after this one. I think we can manage another really cool pull, but that ditto might be the best one in the entire box because I think like I said earlier, each box usually comes with one hyper rare, at least in Japan. All right, Krogunk, Ponyta. Oh, we just pulled the reverse of this card. Darkness Energy, we're going into foils now. We got, oh no, never mind. Sorry, I, I'm losing count. Now we're going into foils. We got, oh nice, we pulled, oh no, we didn't pull this. Shiny version. This is the stage two evolution, hollow rare. And then we got, oh dude, we got Suicune, hollow rare. It's been so long since we've seen a really nice Suicune card 
in the TCG. And here we have it, a really cool looking one, Hollow Rare Suicune. And there is a shiny version of Suicune as well in this set, which is something that I would love to see as well. And onto our V slot, we have an Eldegoss V, regular art. Very nice. Seen a lot of these, I think, in our Champions Path set. And we have an Applin Reverse Hollow. All right. Seemed like a lot of the momentum um, was kind of at the beginning of our box, but we still have a few more packs. So we're just gonna have to see if there are any more surprises in store for us. Galarian Farfetch'd, Galarian um, Stunfisk, Puku Mugu, I think, Trainer Card, and some of the full arts are also amazing of the trainers in this set, but we haven't seen one yet, unfortunately. There's just so many cards to collect. Galarian Lanoon and Foil Territory now. Oh, no, not yet. I just need to remember I have to do one more. Turbo Patch, I think. Now we're in the Foil Territory. Nice, we got a Hollow Foil Rillaboom for our first Foil. Nice, this matches our Zamazenta earlier. We got a hollow rare Zacian. Very nice. And our V slot has a Toxtricity V Max. Very cool. We've seen this already in English and in Japanese, I think. So this must be a reprint. I don't think this is a shiny. No, it's not. Triple R rarity, but very cool. And we got a reverse hollow turbo patch again there. Cool. So it looks like the ditto, the S, I forgot it was SRR or something, uh, was probably the pull, uh, the main pull for our box. I'm hoping that we can pull another regular shiny Pokemon in this pack or the next one. Let's check it out. Sentiscorch, Bird Keeper. Oh my gosh, we pulled a shiny coughing. Look at that card, that is amazing. You got the texture, you got the foil, and you got the alternate coloration of coughing. How amazing is that? Shiny coughing, guys, that is super cool. Probably the first time coughing has ever been shiny in the TCG. What a nice card. Let's move along here. Nice, we got a, uh, a hollow Inteleon. Regular. And I think we're at our V slot now. No, not yet. Oh, so is the shiny Pokemon extra? It might be. It looks like we're getting one V, two regular hollow foils, and then one shiny in this pack. There's a hollow foil Gengar. And our V is nice. We got a um, blanking Crobat V Max. I don't think we've seen a Crobat V Max yet in the States. So. This could very well be a new card. Triple R Rarity, Crobat VMAX. Really menacing look there on Crobat. Very cool card. And our reverse is, um, so many Pokemon to remember. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> I'll get to that in a second, but I, this is our last pack, guys. So hopefully we end on a high note. This has been such an exciting opening for me. I hope it has been for you as well. What a wonderful set we have here with Shiny Star V. Hopefully I can post more of it soon, but I hope you enjoyed this opening. Sorry again, I've been going so slow, but this is the first time I've been opening this set and it's been amazing. So here we have it, our last pack of Shiny Star V. For our box, will we get lucky in our final pack here? All right, I think we're entering foil territory. Nope, not yet. This one for sure though. Nice, this is one of the Island Guardians, hollow foil rare. And then we got Toxicroak, hollow rare. And our V is an Ndidi, right? Ndidi V regular art. So nothing too crazy in our final pack, but that's all right. We got some awesome stuff. And our final reverse is the fossil Pokemon from Gen 8. Very, very nice. All right, guys, I'll do it for today's opening. Thank you so much for joining in. If you want an idea 
of what comes in one box of Shiny Star V. I can kind of go through that with you real quick. So it looks like you get one like really high end pull, like ultra rare or hyper rare, and that's our ditto. And um, you get, let's see, let me separate these out here. Two V Max. Trying to be very gentle with them. Two, three Vs, four Vs. Three V Max, shiny. V, V, amazing rare. And then another shiny. All right, so in each box, it looks like you get approximately three V Maxes. You get six regular Vs, three regular shiny Pokemon, one hyper rare pull, which is our ditto and one amazing rare. That's the rates of, that's the rate of the box that we got today. So I hope that's helpful. Sorry, I didn't have an official like format to show you, but if you have this box, that's kind of what you can expect. All right, thank you so much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please sub, sub to this channel if you want more Pokemon TCG content and more Shiny Star V. As always, take care, peace out, and I'll see you on the next video.